Ispet. I'm the founder of Nordic Education Center for Dog Trainers. Today, I'm going to talk about senior dogs, older dogs, because they're always close to my heart. Um, I've had the pleasure of uh, being the home to quite a few senior dogs. Senior, what is a senior dog? This depends on the individual. Some dogs, just like we humans, again, some dogs, they become senior dogs or older dogs when they are, I, I want to be careful saying any numbers, but when they're around seven, eight years old, some dogs, you can't really see that they're senior until 10, 11, maybe even older. It all, all depends on the individual. It's important to say, because a lot of people ask me, from what age do you say a dog is senior? And I don't have an answer to that. That's individual. I am going to share my PowerPoint. I have a little PowerPoint, no pictures, just one picture actually. Um, but it's um, just a few bullet points. So let me find out where I go to share. Hold on. Senior dog. Now, if my PowerPoint could, could move as well. Mm. <laughs> okay. It's, it's this kind of day. Okay. Yeah. So we don't know what age the dog, he or she will become senior, but we can see some signs. Very often you can start see, to see that the fur is getting lighter or gray, depending on the color of the fur. Uh, they, in general, this is in general, and this goes for dogs and humans. Again, it's very much the same. So um, less play and longer breaks, senior dogs would need that. The movements are slower. The walks are slower. Maybe they sit down and don't, don't want to walk for that long anymore. Maybe they don't even want to go out some days. Um, they need more rest and sleep than they would when they were younger. Um, it's not unusual that they gain weight, especially around the waist. Um, they can also have poorer eyesight or hearing. This again, is it varies, but I personally, I would really recommend that you don't forget this <laughs> because it's so easy to forget when we see our dog every day, we live together with our dog. And then uh, eyesight and hearing, it's, it sometimes comes kind of slowly, you know, it develops slowly. So you don't really see from one day to another that your dog doesn't hear anything or hear less uh, and doesn't see uh, anything or see less. So just be aware of that. When your dog is sleeping and he suddenly, um, he um, jumps when you touch him, that's, that's a sign that his hearing could be not as good anymore. It could be. Um, so make sure, and if you know that your dog is not hearing very well or seeing it very well anymore, take especially care of how you and other people react uh, around the dog because they, then they can easily get scared of course because when we don't hear them or it's the same thing with us when we don't hear or see people coming and they suddenly touch you 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 jump <laughs> and that's not nice um like i said the fur can change colors especially around the nose the face eyebrows so on uh, less muscles, they might have painful joints, they might get problems with arthritis, things like that. Um, and unfortunately for dogs, they can also get dementia. I want to, to include that because it is not, it's not that uncommon that dogs do get uh, various degrees of dementia and i've had it on in two dogs um quite 
well, quite clear dementia, where they get des, des, de -orienting, de -orienting, desoriented, not sure, I'm not sure if that's the right English word for it, and I apologize for that. But it's more difficult for them to recognize places. Maybe they don't even recognize people that they used to know, or other dogs, or the cats in the house, whatever it could be. Uh, they forget people, places. Um, they get more restless. Uh, they can be less active with owners. Um, the my dog that I had, he had dementia, quite severe for some time. And he didn't recognize people. He didn't recognize my ex-husband. We lived together with that dog for, for several years. And he had no clue who he was. Uh, he didn't recognize dogs that he uh, would know from before uh, or places. Um, in addition to that, he had very, very poor eyesight and uh, quite poor hearing. And he got restless, especially in the evenings. So he could start, you know, being restless, walking around, um, barking a lot. Uh, maybe he even felt scared, um, like people with that dementia can do. Um, Definitely, I couldn't leave him alone because he developed separation anxiety. Um, and he was constantly hungry. That could be because they forgot they just ate, or it could be uh, could be many different reasons, but it could be one of could be that they forgot actually that they just ate. So he seemed to be hungry. And he had all those signs that he was having this uh, illness, dementia, which is. I'm sure some of you are familiar with it, with the people, unfortunately. Um, my grandmother had that as well for 10 years. Now, I know there is a page in between here, but yes, it's a little bit slow, my, my uh, iMac today. Um, also, they can be less active and less interested in the environment. Also, because they can get poorer hearing, sight, and so on, they can also get a little bit poorer um, uh, sense of smell. So it means that it just takes more time for them to smell. They're more uh, interested in the smells. It looks like they're more interested because they take more time actually smelling whatever they're smelling when they go for walks. And again, it's very important to let them smell. This is one of the joys that dogs have. And especially if you get older, if you can't see very well or hear very well, at least let your dog uh, have the joy of using his or her nose. So uh, the patterns of sleep also can be that they sleep and rest more during the day and in shorter intervals. And for all senior dogs, it doesn't have to have any dementia or any other illnesses, but it is not uncommon that you have to get up at least once every night to take your dog out um, because they can, you know, like, again, like people, um, they can have um, incontinence. Is that what it's called in English? Mm, not sure. But they can also forget, again, with the dementia or just being very forgetful and senior, uh, they can forget that they just went to the toilet. Um, so in some ways, it's a little bit like having puppies again. And uh, that's my experience that you have to get up at night and you have to make sure they get the food, the right food, obviously, and so on. Uh, they need more care from you. They need more care. Um, what you should do is to facilitate for your senior dogs. Maybe you need to get a ramp or lift or something in and out of the car or in your house, if you have stairs, uh, if you want your dog to be in the sofa or in your bed, maybe you should invest in a little ramp or some stairs. I know you can buy them online, these uh, stairs, like two stairs that you can use for furnitures. Also make sure that your dog gets the right nutrition for, that, for his age. 
and a lot, again, always um, choosing where to sleep and rest, um, but a lot of different nice, soft beds, sleeping and resting places. And especially without any draft or cold from the windows or from a door or something, because if you have pain in your joints or other problems with your body, draft is really not good for you. Um, also, cover slippery floors. We should always do that, but especially, of course, if your dog has some problems with his joints. And that is not uncommon that they have. It's surprisingly common, unfortunately. So covering slippery floors is always, I think, a good idea. And we, uh, for puppies as well, adults, everyone. But, um, and this is something that <clears throat> at least I've been a lot more aware of the past few years than we were, we were before. Um, so, let the dog choose the distance for his or her walks, except that they don't want to or can walk as far or as fast as they used to. And let even let your dog choose if he wants to go for a walk that day. Um, I know a lot of people really want to, to do the best for their dogs and to take them out walking several times a day. Of course, you have to take your dog outside to go to the toilet. Um, but if your dog does not want to go for a long walk or for a walk at all that day, I think it's fine. I think that's also fine, actually, for an adult dog or a young dog, if that's the case. But it's more the case for senior dogs for the mentioned, for the, for the reasons I mentioned, of course. And if you are at least unsure, you should take a trip to the vet. You should regularly visit the vet. The vets I've been speaking to in Norway, they recommend every six months for senior dogs to check teeth and the body. Also, a therapist for muscles and joints. The vets are good at what they are doing, but most of them are not therapists. So in any case, massage or this kind of treatment is a nice thing. It's a well-being thing as well. And the risk, the chance that your dog, your senior dog has some problems with his or her joints and muscles is quite big. So I would definitely invest in regular visits to, um, to um, uh, a specialist. Okay, this mouse doesn't work today, so I'm, I need to try. Okay, dog friends, socializations. Please, please, this is important. A lot of senior dogs, they, because they're not very active anymore, they are laying at home most of the day without even really uh, doing a lot of exciting stuff. And they should be allowed to do that, but in their own time uh, and for as long as they want to do it. So it's still important to go for social walks, to meet up with other dogs uh, and so on, but respect your dog's age and limitations. So if a senior dog um, is a bit grumpy that day because he's in pain that day, you know, pain, is um, some days it's worse, sometimes it's not so bad. So they can have good and bad days as well. Um, so if you have a lot of, or if you have a young dog that is bothering your dog when he's in pain, don't, don't let your dog experience that. You need to be in charge of this and you need to know your dog, your senior dog, when he's happy or unhappy. Uh, and again, nose work and enriched environment. I talked about that on Monday. So if you haven't seen that Facebook Live on Monday uh, yet, you should go and see it because I give you a lot of um, examples on uh, different enriched environments and why it's good for the dog. So everything that you did before, you can still do, but in a dog's own time and don't rush it. And you should do. Dogs, they like to learn every, all, their whole life, yeah? It's not like they stop learning 
or being able to learn when they get older. I'm not at all. And learning and using the brain is helping us um, to take care of our brains and may, maybe even stay younger in our brains at least, being able to uh, train our sense of memory and so on better if you use your brain than if you don't use your brain. This is again, exactly the same with people. So if we are using our brain, if we're reading, doing crosswords and so on, um, then we, um, we keep our brain healthy longer. Okay, so this is the only picture. This is a picture of my late Moses. He was called Moses. He came to me when he was three years old. And on this picture, he's uh, 11. Yeah, it's a basset hound. And unfortunately for that breed, you know, the eyes, so he got very heavy, has a lot of skin. So in addition to having poor eyesight, now I'm standing above him to take the photo. So it's not as bad as it looks on this photo, but it's not good either because his sight was very limited. Okay. So to sum up, let your dog, I personally, I think we should let our dogs be old. I mean, it's good to be old. I like old people. I like, I think it's so interesting to listen to their stories. And um, uh, I like being around senior people as well, as well as senior dogs. So um, take care of them and help them and when it's time, this is not something I can talk about today either, but um, just let them enjoy. And they can be old for many years, I think, as long as they're healthy and not in pain. Okay, so I respect people that are, um, are um, admitting that they've done mistakes before because we're not perfect. So as long as we just admit to ourselves that we maybe have done something not as good as we could because we didn't know. I mean, we're not born with the knowledge that we have now. I'm 51 and I'm not born with, with the knowledge that I have today. So I am in the process of learning my whole life. And so should you and so are dogs. Yeah. So teach them something nice and fun, appropriate to their age and physical uh, movements and exercise they can do and have and, and enjoy the time with the senior dog as well. Okay, I'm rambling on. So I'm going to stop <laughs> and go back to work. And so should you. Have a very nice day, everyone. Bye.